Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I bet you're wondering why my uh, GoPro is um, laying upside down, because it's dead. Rotating my floorboard. Good grief. You guys ever make those stupid decisions? This is one of them. 38 degrees. It's cold. The wind chill is like in the teens, it feels like. The GoPro died. It didn't even last that long. Usually that thing lasts a few of I don't know. An hour or so. Oh my gosh. Yeah, well, I was going to go for a little bit of a longer ride, but that floorboard just put a damper on it. It's not going to happen. Those Amazon floorboards, man. I don't recommend them. I got my Gauntlet gloves. They feel okay. They're from Harley Davidson. Um, they were great the first, they were excellent the first year or two. But I feel like as uh, it got, maybe, did it even last two years? Yeah, this, I think this is the second season I'm with them, or the third coming in. Going into the third season with them. And um, I feel like they uh kinda not doing so well right now. I don't know if they're, the padding um, got compressed, so it lost its R value. Um, if you don't know what I mean by that, if you're a construction worker, you will know what I mean, but if you don't know, let me explain. When you put insulation in your house, right, you, if you got a 2x4 wall, you put 2x4 insulation. If you got 2x6 walls, you put 2x6 insulation, and that's just the thickness of it, right? So you would, some people would think that, oh, if you put 2x6 insulation in a 2x4 wall, you'll get better insulation. Wrong! You get worse insulation because now you're compressing the, the insulation and you're losing its R value. It needs to have its um, airspace in between in order to keep the heat and the cold separated. So, and I think that's what's kind of going on with my gloves. I think they're losing its R value. I can't believe that thing rotated on me just like that. I also got like a uh, I got a tank top on. I got over that I got a Under Armour long sleeve shirt. Over that I got a t-shirt. Over that I got a hoodie. And over that I got this Harley Davidson jacket. And if I was skinnier, I would have put my vest underneath this Harley Davidson jacket. <laughs> I can feel the I can feel my chest getting cold. I'm actually surprised that my feet are not as cold as I thought they were gonna be since I brought some. These are, these, are, these are safety shoes, believe it or not. The sneakers, safety sneakers. They are over the ankle. And they got a steel toe. So I thought my feet would have been colder than what it is, but it's not doing too bad. Um, my legs, I got long johns on and jeans. That would have been nice if I had chaps, I guess, or... Or a lap blanket. Did you ever hear of a lap blanket? Me neither. So, so this guy that I was talking to the other day, he's got a, uh, I believe it's a Yamaha. I don't know what, Yamaha something. And um, he's got these big, um, oh, I want to say gloves on the bike. Now, I'll put, I took a little video, I'll post it here. The things look like it, you put your arms inside of it and it protects your hands. So he mentioned the uh, lap, it's called a lap robe. I think it's called a lap blanket, it's a lap robe. Um, apparently when he used to work for, um, he used to be a mail carrier in the 80s back in Washington 
Um, they mentioned that they uh, they ride motorcycles there in the winter. And how do they do it in the snow? You might ask. It's a it's with a with a sidecar. They put the sidecar on it for extra stability. And he had that style like glove, like a fairing glove that you put your arms into. And he also mentioned that they have what's called a lap robe. I tried doing a quick Google search. The only thing that I could find close to anything from what he was explaining, it goes on a scooter. So apparently it covers the scooter and you put your legs into it and it's like having a sock or a pocket that your legs go into and it's wind resistant so along with that and uh, those gloves on the bike he says he can go sub-zero degrees riding <laughs> I don't know about that man <laughs> but he did have a Harley before and he said he had it on his Harley he had a fat bob and he rode cross country in that fat bob, he said. He said he took it out to uh, Sturgis. I gave him props for that. And I think he's making it out of like, uh, oh, what did he call it? Like, 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 wool, animal wool or something. Apparently it's got the skin and the, uh, the fur. The skin goes on your legs and the fur stays on the outside and the fur protects you from the elements. Why am I going this way? I need to go home and I'm not going home. <laughs> now I'm riding with a safety issue. Not really a safety issue, like if that full board falls off, I can always put my foot rest up on the, uh, my foot up on the bars. The engine guards. I know everybody gets the uh, heated gear, which I wouldn't mind a heated vest right now. I would have loved to have a heated vest and maybe heated gloves. My, my hands are not that bad right now. Now that they uh, actually warmed up and I had them in the sun. Before I had them in my saddle bag and they were in my saddle bag for the past few nights. So they were cold and I put them on cold and it froze my hands. I don't know if that was the wise idea so how do you guys ride in the winter what do you guys do i should have doubled up on my socks i think i would have been better off but i'm not really complaining about my feet yet if this was a longer ride like i'm probably i don't know 25 30 minutes away from my house if this was a longer ride i would definitely be complaining so with like these hand guards and the, the gauntlet gloves it does a good job together makes a good uh a good combination do know that uh it was definitely warmer when i first got them wearing in what it does everything that wears in that's what it does right you use it wear and tear normal characteristic of it baby how do you guys gear up and where do you live like what what state you don't have to tell me exactly where you live but what state do you guys live in and how do you stay warm in these cold weather months did you guys hit that like button yet like my thumb is kind of frozen like <laughs> subscribe hit that bell notification for your content because now comes the upgrades on the bike yeah and um older videos that i haven't um edited yet or it might take the winter off who knows i am definitely getting upgrades for the bike like, subscribe, hit that bell notification, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Oh, before we go, just in case you didn't know, I don't know how the audio on this is going to sound. Can the microphone from a, it was a cheap Amazon boom microphone, it cost me like $7. It worked great for the first year, and then I don't know what happened. So I went to a uh, my old Purple Panda microphone. It's a lavalier mic. Um, I I replaced that Purple Panda mic with the other mic because the Purple Panda mic picks up everything. Like I was so annoyed with hearing me breathing. 
so in order to change that around I put the uh, the microphone in my cheek pad <laughs> I cut a slit on the back side of my cheek pad on the plastic side and I stuck the microphone in there and I pushed it to the front so is that gonna be enough to you know blockade block my breathing sound because <sighs> I sounded like Darth Vader I'm a horrible impersonator but I don't know how the audio is gonna come out I think it's gonna come out okay it's got to be better than the old mic but the old mic when I if I had to get excited I'd be like Woo -hoo! I'd get all kinds of popping doing that so I hope you all have a great Thanksgiving like, subscribe, hit that bell notification if you got that, and I'll talk to you guys later. Hey, Austin! How's it going, buddy? Can you see me? Oh, hold on. I put that camera on, but the battery died.